What's next? It's big. It's broad. It's next on Sunday. With six sections and pullouts, including glossy color fashion magazine, Elan. There's something in it for everyone. Next on Sunday, ask your vendor and buy it. Hello, welcome to Next News and Happy Children's Day. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission's chairperson, Farida Warziri, said on Tuesday that the commission had recovered more than 50 billion naira in the past 11 months. Mrs. Waziri said the commission had been repositioned to carry out its mandate to fight corruption with a new program to detect tax fraud and evasion. The Joint Military Task Force on Tuesday said it has destroyed an observation camp between Okerenkoko and Jones Creek Village in Delta State, Nigeria. JTS spokesperson Rabe Abubaka said the camp belonged to militant leader Government Ekwemokwolo, nicknamed Tongwolo, who is currently on the run. Mr. Abubakar also said that from the bloodstains found at the site, the camp must have been used as an emergency treatment center for wounded militants. According to him, the JTF did not kill or burn civilian houses in its search and rescue operation as being alleged by MEND. At least 10,000 students of the Federal Polytechnic Auchi in Edo State, Nigeria, have been reportedly displaced by the recent mayhem over the Idonoge Chieftaincy Stool in the neighboring South Ibi community, which left about eight persons dead and over 25 houses burned. Most of the houses burned were private hostels for the students of the institution. However, no lives were lost in the fracas. Members of Ogoni communities and other Nigerian activists were today arrested by soldiers attached to the Joint Task Force in River State. Most of those arrested were women on their way to the late Kensarawiwa's village for a rally. The rally was to show their solidarity for the case that will be coming up in the U.S. on Wednesday on the complicity of Shell and the Nigerian government in the 1995 Ogoni murders. The women were released after the leaders intervened. The Ogun State government in Nigeria on Tuesday said it has approved the purchase of 47 custom-built turbines for the state's power project. Commissioner for Water Resources and Rural Development, Kola Onodikwe, said the project will be executed under the Supplier Credit Procurement Agreement between the state government and a private firm. The turbines, which use low-pore fuel oil, will be used in the state's mini power plants project and will run continuously for 8,000 hours. Nigeria's President Umaru Yaradua is expected to flag off the dredging of Lower River Niger on July 7, according to Imo State Governor Ikedi Ohakim. Speaking in Abuja on Tuesday after a meeting involving eight state governors and the president, Mr. Ohakim described the project as part of dividends of 10 years of uninterrupted democratic rule. Top officials of the Nigeria Football Federation were in Doha, Qatar during the weekend to talk about cooperation with leaders of the Qatari FA and Aspire Academy. Ademola Olajire, the chief media officer of the NFF, said the team discussed the level of cooperation and agreement on youth football development, technical assistance, team camping, training, and medical issues. Thank you for watching Next News. For more information on these and other stories, please visit our website at 234next.com. That's 234next.com.